Iran will strike Israel with ballistics within the next 12 hours, the New York Times publication reported on Tuesday, citing U.S. officials. The publication also claimed that the U.S. Embassy in Israel has already ordered its employees to return home and be ready to hide in a bomb shelter. Speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss military intelligence, the U.S. officials said the imminent Iranian attack could involve a combination of unmanned drones and missiles. The U.S. Embassy in Israel sent employees home and told them to be prepared to enter bomb shelters, the first such order in months. A senior White House official said the United States was actively supporting defensive preparations to defend Israel against this attack, warning that a direct attack against Israel will carry severe consequences for Iran. The speculations about imminent Iranian attack on Israel follow Israeli forces' rare ground invasion of southern Lebanon on Monday night aimed at crippling the Iranian-backed militia Hezbollah there. The Israeli military said on Tuesday that the United States had informed Israel about preparations for the attack, which could spark a sharp escalation in the long-standing conflict between Israel and Iran and tip the region further into turmoil and a widening war. It should be noted that Iran supports Hezbollah and Hamas, the two militias currently fighting Israel, as well as the Houthis in Yemen. Flares and explosions were seen in the border between Israel and Lebanon on Monday night into Tuesday morning. The Israeli military launched small ground raids against Hezbollah and sealed off communities along its northern border on Monday as Israeli artillery pounded southern Lebanon and signals grew that more forces could soon be sent across the border to fight the Iran-backed militants. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said Israel informed the U.S. about the raids, which he said were described as limited operations focused on Hezbollah infrastructure near the border. There were no reports of direct clashes between Israeli troops and Hezbollah militants, who last engaged in ground combat on Lebanese soil during a month-long war in 2006. Earlier, the Israeli military declared three communities along Israel's northern border to be a closed military zone, in a possible precursor to a ground invasion of Lebanon. The order restricts entry and exit from the communities to military forces only. The towns are Mechula, Misgav AM, and Kfar Jaladi. Areas can also be declared closed military zones if an imminent threat is detected. A Western diplomat in Cairo whose country is directly involved in de-escalation efforts said an Israeli ground operation in Lebanon is imminent. The official, who spoke on condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the situation, said Israel had shared its plans with the U.S. and other Western allies, and conveyed the operation will be limited. Israel and Hezbollah have exchanged fire almost every day since the war in Gaza began, displacing tens of thousands of people in Israel and Lebanon. Israel says it will continue to strike Hezbollah until it is safe for families to return to their homes near the Lebanon border. Hezbollah has promised to keep firing rockets into Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. It was not clear if Israel had made a final decision on a broader ground operation in Lebanon. The Israeli army's radio station said a cabinet meeting wrapped up late Monday, with Netanyahu continuing to consult with security officials. Hezbollah vowed Monday to keep fighting even after its longtime leader Hassan Nasrallah and other top officials were recently wiped out by Israeli strikes. Over 1,000 people have been killed in Lebanon in the past two weeks, nearly a quarter of them women and children, according to the health ministry. There's something, guys. Yeah. What? The same thing. No. 